What is going on, everybody? Vovo here, back with a uh, new game. Um, a short game, a very short game. Uh, milk inside a bag of milk, inside a bag of milk, inside a... So on and so on. A, um, a short little uh, visual novel indie horror game that uh, one of my friends gifted to me. And uh, I'm interested in, you know, checking it out. It's probably going to be... This video is going to be very short, but... It's going to be act as like a little buffer between, you know, let's plays, you know, this short rule game. So let's do this. Help me buy milk. Sure. Write down your name. Wait a little. I walk down the road to the store and rehearse my speech. It's been so long since I've been out of the house that I completely forgot what words to say when entering the store. I'm going to the store. Who are you talking to? I'm imagining as if I were a character in the game. What if it helps me gather my thoughts? Dot dot dot. Are we going to play the silent game? Okay. I take a deep breath of air. Hello, can I? Crap, I forgot. Nineteenth attempt, and I'm failing again. I buy my whip in frustration. So once again... Hello, can I get... Wow, that's a whole word more. Thank you, I'm trying my best. I think this time the L sound was longer than usual. Do you think that's it? Who knows? Hello, can I... Ugh, I wish I hadn't said anything. Don't worry. Okay. By the way, you've been walking with your left foot on the pavement and your right foot on the glass for a full minute now. W what? My right foot is frozen in the air. H how much? 50 steps on the pavement and 51 in the glass. So I see this is like the inner thoughts of this person. You have to undo the previous step. <laughs> how do you imagine that? It's not the first time this has happened. You've been taught the right way, haven't you? Come on. I, I don't remember. I'm ready to burst into tears. Ugh, here we go again. So, step one. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Wait a minute. What do you mean, step one? What then? But it's already the 52nd. Or, wait, I'm going backwards. So that it's the 15th? It doesn't add up. Okay, okay, step 50. Take a step back to get your foot exactly in your own footprint. Could you rephrase it just a little bit? You can't just repeat a phrase without changing at least one word. People don't talk like that. You're hopeless. You make it sound like it's my fault. The store closes in an hour, so... You will be very, very guilty if you don't buy milk. Damn, really? Well, are you ready? Hell yes! Carefully move my foot backward, looking carefully into the dense glass. As I enter the store, I turn to the first person I see. Hello, can I... Whoa. I have to say, this music is very... trippy. Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh. Excuse me, what? Oh! Excuse me, what? Oh! You shouldn't have done that. See, he's obviously not going to change his lines. He run the risk of ending up in an endless loop. Excuse me, what? Oh. 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 What? Oh. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to scare me, but how does he know that I'm terrified by the letter O? What's so scary about it? I have a frightening image when I picture it in my head. I can show you. Explaining won't be enough, but keep in mind that will cost me- What the fuck? Whoa. That was freaky. Something like that. So I'll just continue to ignore his question. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. 
What? Oh. I gather all my will into a fist. Oh? Oh. My interior walker shook and crawled away. He just repeated after him. Oh, I got an achievement. Oh, oh. And it worked. Do it more often. Wait, I said he crawled away. Did he really crawl away? I, I mean, I didn't even look in his direction. And exactly did she say that? Just now! Personally, I didn't hear it. You're just trying to distract me. But I know that my words were shown on the screen. I'm standing by the shelves. In the back, there are bags of milk. We both stand. And milk. Wise? Or maybe... Hey, hey, slow down. Do you remember why you're here? To buy milk. So buy it. Right here? What do you expect me to say? Um, I guess something like, not here? Not here. Take the bag and go to the cash register. I guess the first sentence. And you, as if out of spite, didn't pause before the second one. You didn't want me to rob me of my little victories? I sigh and reach out to take the milk. Or rather, the bag with the milk inside. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk inside a bag. Or rather, a bag of milk inside a bag of milk of inside. Come on, come on. Fifty minutes before the store closes. Hurry up. I remembered what these games are called. Visual novels! And by the way, the numbers are when they're in full with weathers. They're visual novels worse than Burks, but the offers are not lazy, so don't get lazy either. either. Wait. I found only your thoughts were visible on the screen. Not anymore, so watch your mouth. <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, you heard me. Hurry up or you get it at home, get it at home again. I'm on my way. Hey, well, can I get, get some milk, please? <laughs> Whoa. Look at this guy. You have it. Uh. Give. I put a weightly bag on the register. Of course, not just the bag, but the milk, too. Hi, can I- can I have it, please? No. Please? No! But please, Mom will throw me out of the window if I get back without milk, damn. No! But why not? Give more! But I don't have anything else. Hey. What? They hate you, you're pathetic. Pay for the milk. <laughs> really? What would I do without you? Take a coupled bill out of my pocket and hand it to the cashier. He starts to carefully examine it. It took about two days before he nodded contentedly and put it into the cash register. Thank you, goodbye. I walked down a familiar street past a gas station. A bag of milk unpleasantly tugs at my hand, reminding me of the days when I was in physical therapy. By the way, they gave me a bag at the checkout, so now I'm carrying a bag of milk in another bag. Don't think anything of it. I just love the pyramidal structure of verbal constructions. The gas station is getting closer. How are you feeling? Thank you for your interest. I feel like a mile-long bar of ice cream. What is that supposed to mean? As if I tell you. But I'm really interested. Well, look, the ratio of water to milk in the volume of air occupied by me is about 30 to 1. And yeah, ice cream is not the best unless you want to drink more than you eat. So there you go, the road from the store to the gas station is a stick, and the road from the gas station to home is ice cream. During today's walk, my body has been to every part of this path. Simple math. I see. I feel movement under my feet. Asphalt grains, petrol stains. Trying to keep my balance, and how do people move over something as uneven as the city plain? Generally, heel, toe, I count in my mind every meter of the path I walk. I even close my eyes for more concentration. Hey, watch out! Huh? I unconsciously take a sharp step to the side. At the same moment, a huge bear rushes past me with a wild screech. Hey, I'm walking here! I cast a reproachful glance at the swiftly departing giant. Its red eyes in turn look at me with mockery. Did you see that? How brazen. It was a truck. Oh, really? Although, if you think about it, are there bears with eyes on the back of their heads? You could have died. Come on, are you saying someone would seriously want to kill an innocent girl carrying the bag of milk? The world is a cool and dangerous place. Not in the world you're talking about. Huh. 
not in the world you're talking about. My journey continues. If you think about it, the world from the store is one interesting property. It adjusts to me in the most bizarre ways. When I am in a hurry, all the traffic lights turn off helpfully. When I feel like crying, a cloud appears over me and pours rain streams that hide my tears. Right now I can feel a crowd slowly gathering over the top of my head. I'm sad. Are you sure this is really happening? What else could it be? Has it ever occurred to you that it's all just in your head? That's not what the manual said at all. Apparently these pills don't work for me either. The pills have nothing to do with it. Please, I just want to get home and go to bed. I really, really am very grateful to you, but please no more. You have to accept the truth. No! You have to accept the truth. No! Just accept the truth. No! Looks like Lord Waco doesn't help me after all. I guess I'll try something else next time. Wait. Oh. Oh, was... The name part was just, like, the pills? Okay. Let's try that one more time. I hope you can do it better than Lloyd Waco. You know what? What? Since I'm a character in a visual novel, I want to talk to whoever is reading this right now. What? Could hurt your recovery. I don't care, do you hear me? I forcefully squeezed my head with my hands and placed the thought block. Out of the corner of my eye, I noticed some small bench. The perfect place for cliched visual novel monologues. Hmm. I moved closer, placed a noticeably weighted bag of milk next to it, and raised my head to the sky. Listen, I'm a little embarrassed. <laughs> I realize I'm going crazy, and medications are becoming less and less effective, so... Ultimately, things will happen painlessly, I hope. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Well, I'm not really surprised. There must be nothing like the model protagonist at all, huh? To be honest, I haven't read many visual novels. Sometimes I regret it because now it costs me a lot of effort just to distinguish between letters and words. By the way, if you don't mind, I'd rather not name my diagnosis. Whether at least you be the one who sees me for who I am. Even though I made you up, don't take that away from me, okay? Don't ask me for too much. How stupid does this all seem? From the very beginning, you've been following me, reading my delusional thoughts, hearing my silly conversations. I must seem crazy and weird to you. <laughs> what is it like to see the world through my eyes? Ever since something happened, all I see is red. Red, blood everywhere. Now don't worry about me, I got used to it a long time ago. Midway, I'd even forgotten what other colors work like. Come on. <laughs> Those monsters from the store, they didn't scare me at all. After all, I know they won't hurt me. Sometimes I think that they themselves are afraid of me. Can you imagine that? By the way, if you want to ask me what happened, please don't. Promise? <clears throat> I'm serious. Of course, you couldn't help but ask. In the end, I'm just talking to myself. Sooner or later, I would have brought it up. So you really that interested in what happened to me? I won't waste time. What do you see? I have no idea. <laughs> Could be an arm? A body? What is that?
I want to say body. Right. This is my dad. Some of his parts, at least. Oh, jeez. We do have a very difficult family. But despite all the problems, I never would have thought... Sorry, I shouldn't have raised my voice. Anyway, he jumped out the window and died. Jeez. It's my last memory. Been a long gap. Strange. Very strange. Today's the first time I've ever been able to buy something in a store without a major incident. Of course, the medicine helped me, however. I think it's more your merit. I kept thinking, we mustn't screw up in front of the reader, or, oh my god, what will he think? <laughs> I don't know why I decided to become a visual novel character for the sake of going to the store today, but it clearly paid off. Thank you. By the way, it seems to me that there are some boundaries in our communication. <laughs> no more borders. That's how I like it. <laughs> and yet I've been so sad, Wade Way. I've been thinking more and more about what my wife has become ever since my dad. Well, you know. Day after day, it's the same thing. I've tried so many medications that I hardly feel any difference between them anymore. As long as they help keep me on my feet, I'm happy. <laughs> but you know what? Today is a special day because I have you. There's so much I want to tell you, so you can't even- That was very weird of you. Oh no. I'm not going to pressure you. I'm just going- just advising you to go home. I understand. Now, dear reader, shall we go? Huh. When I get to my floor, I hang over the railing. Repeating this action every day, like a ritual, I stopped being afraid of heights altogether. A few minutes ago, the effects of the medicine finally wore off, so I just enjoyed the blissful silence. When I am under the influence of drugs, terrible and unpleasant melodies sound in my head, mixing with the sounds of the world around me. They create a terrible dissonance in my head. I turn around and go to my apartment. Hi, Mom. Did you bring the milk? Yes, Mom. Did your new medicine help? Yes, Mom. Yes, Mom. Holy shit. Is that it? I think I got all the achievements. Yeah, I got all the achievements. I don't think there's anything else. What a... Wow, what a what a what a weird short game that um that has a great atmosphere. Um interesting. So I'm gonna guess like this is a metaphor for well, here's my interpretation at least. It's this girl who, you know, needs to overcome her dad's suicide and all that and uh she takes, you know, probably anxiety pills, probably maybe antidepressants or, you know, it's up in the air. It's, you know, the diagnosis is, you know, could be whatever, you know, just your imagination and all of that. And she sees the world as, as this, as a bunch of red pixels, you know, she sees everyone inside, in this world as, as monsters that she can barely understand that she's afraid of talking to her too and the most scary monster of all is her mother because she i don't know sees her as a uh 
someone to be afraid of, obviously. It's very interesting how how it was self-aware in that she viewed herself as a visual novel character and all that. But what a weird, short little game. Um, that, like, I don't, I don't think there's... Then you need to. I know there's a sequel to this game, but it really, it could just be this. And honestly, it, honestly, it kind of it, it was a little scary. I have to say that last part. I thought there was going to be a jump scare, you know. But um, yeah, what a what a fascinating little indie game. What a absolutely you know fascinating. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this type of content. If you did, hit that subscribe button. If you liked it, hit the like button. Want to tell me something? Put it down in the comments below. And uh, yeah, this has been Boy Wego. I'll see you guys in the next Let's Play. See ya. <laughs>